Check those out. Big fuzzy fruits. It's the first time I am ever tasting snake fruit. Right now, we are on location at the Costa Rican Amphibian Research Center, one of our favorite places to film in Central America. This location is actually home to a number of different unique plant species, many of which are not even native to Costa Rica. And I just came across a tree that I think you guys definitely want to check out. I posted a picture on Instagram recently of its fruit, saying, do you guys know what this is? And whether you do or don't, do you want me to eat it? They're super strange looking. I've never tried them. I figured we'd save it for a video. This right behind me here is the Salic Palm. And actually its scientific name, Salaka Zalaka, makes complete sense, I guess. Trent, I'm gonna hand this camera off to you and we're gonna take a closer look at this very unique tree. Now, like I said, they're not native to Costa Rica. These can be found on several islands in Indonesia, but the habitat here is absolutely perfect for these trees to thrive. This one is actually a female. There's a male here right behind us. And one thing that you may not know is that only the female trees actually have fruit. And the fruit is right there. I think we all know what those look like. Ripe figs, but they're not figs. They're actually more commonly known as snake fruit. And sometimes this tree is called the snake fruit palm. Now, you'll look at these leaves that all grow right down into the base of the tree. And the first thing you're going to notice as you reach in for one of these delicious round looking fruits is that these leaves are protected with these really long, sharp and rigid spines. This thing is booby trapped. If you wanna come in and get a quick snack, you better be careful because if you slam your hand into that, trust me, it's going to be a very unpleasant afternoon. And when it comes to getting the fruit, I'm gonna just use my knife here to gently cut one of these away. Now there's some small ones here. These ones I read are not going to be ripe. The bigger the fruit, the more likely the chances of it being ripe. So actually, there's one that's right off of the tree right there. I'm going to take another one of these big ones right from the back. All right. Check those out. Big fuzzy fruits. And the reason these are called snake fruit is because the outer skin resembles the scales of a snake. And they also have these really sharp spiky hairs on them. Can you hear that? They're very, very sharp and it makes it very difficult to get into the fruit if you're an animal. However, if you're human and you have opposable thumbs, all you need to do is pop off a little tip just like that and you can begin to peel back that rigid spiky skin. And these actually kind of resemble mamanchinos. We've done a video on those in the past. I know a lot of you called out, no coyote, those are rambutan. Well, in Costa Rica guys, they call them mamanchinos. Skin comes off, and there is the fruit. It almost looks like cloves of garlic. Now, inside the fruit, there can be two or three pieces, and you can split it apart into two unique halves like that. And on the inside, there is an inedible seed, which means you don't want to eat that seed. Uh, but let's go ahead and give this a try. It's the first time I am ever tasting snake fruit. It doesn't really smell like anything. Maybe actually a little bit like a potato. Oh, kind of sweet, and then it gets really bitter. Wow, that is sharp. And the texture is kind of like something between a dehydrated apple and a piece of potato. That's really not bad, though. The more you chew it, the juicier it gets. But what I'm finding is that as the juice squeezes out of it, the fruit actually kind of dries out your mouth. It's kind of it's really starchy. Kind of gross. But there's what the fruit's like chewed up. Kind of looks like a mushy paste of potato or dehydrated apple. And once you get down to the seed, all you gotta do is discard that and go on to the next fruit. Now, I probably wouldn't eat a ton of these in a row, but 
If you happen to find yourself out in the wild and you come across a snake fruit tree and you want a quick snack, as long as you can get past all these spiny booby traps, you're pretty good to get one of these fruits and enjoy a quick natural treat. Of all the things I've eaten on the Brave Wilderness channel, at the end, I usually end up puking. Definitely gonna be no throwing up after eating the snake fruit. This is quite delicious. Hmm, there you have it. Oh, I dropped it. A little wilderness snack here on the Brave Wilderness channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes episode. Now it's time to go out and find some animals. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next location.